Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a donation website for free. The platform that we'll be using is Google Sites. All you'll need to do is go onto sites.google.com. From here, you can tap on blank site. After you have tapped on blank site, you can change your page title. So you can simply highlight the page title right here. And let's say donation with a cause. So that is what I will be calling my website. You can also change the font style and the font size right here. Now to collect your donation, I'll be showing you how to use two platforms. You can either use PayPal or you could use Stripe. So if you have PayPal available in the country that you are in, I would recommend that you sign up with PayPal, which is completely free. Once you are signed up, all you will need to do is tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on the settings cog, you will be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on seller tools in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on seller tools, you are going to scroll down and you're going to tap on PayPal buttons. After selecting PayPal buttons, you're going to tap on Donate. Once you have tapped on Donate, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to create your donation website. So you can see that you have three options. You can either create a single link that you'll be able to share or you can customize a button so you can do that here or you can start a campaign which you'll be able to set a goal and track your progress we're going to be using this option to start a campaign so all we'll be doing is tapping on start a campaign once you have tapped on start a campaign you will be redirected to this page and from here you'll be able to see a preview of how it looks as we continue editing so we're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you can see the display name. We can add the campaign title. Remember it is donation for a cause. So we're going to do that right there. Then you can scroll down and you can set the campaign goal. So you can see the currency will be USD campaign goal $10,000. You can set an end date if you want. And then you can scroll down how much do you want donors to give. I will leave it as any amount. If you want to set an exact amount that they have to give, you can tap on that. If you want to set three amount options, you can do that by tapping right here. So you can tap on set three amount options if you want. If you would like to allow donors to make monthly recurring donations, you can toggle this on or leave it as is. If you would like to give the donors the options to increase their donation amount to help offset the cost, you can leave it as is. Then you will simply tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you can add a cover image. So I'll just upload a random image. So I'm going to tap on upload. Then from there, you can tap on drag and click or browse. And I'm just going to be uploading a random thumbnail. So let's say, for example, this thumbnail right here. Then I'll tap on save. And you can see a preview of it. Then you'll tap on continue. After you have tapped on continue, you can tap on continue once more. If you'd like to get the donor's mailing address, you can toggle that on right there. If you'd like to take donors back to your website, you can toggle that on right there. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue and you can see customize your embed options. If you would like to create an embeddable campaign card, we recommend that you toggle this on so you can see it is toggled on right there and you can see the description. So you can edit the description if you want and you can see create a button for your website. So we'll toggle this on right here. Then after you have toggled it on, you can select the button style, whether you like it to be large or small. You can also select the country or region and you can show accepted card logos. I'll do that right there. Then I'm going to tap on publish. 
Once you have tapped on publish, you will be redirected to a new page. And on this new page, you'll be able to scroll down. And from here, you will see the option share clickable link or campaign card. And I'm going to tap on embed a card. Then I'm going to scroll down and we're going to tap on copy to clipboard. So you can see right there, you have two options. You have the iframe right there. So we are going to tap on copy to clipboard. Once it has been copied, we will go back into Google Sites, go over to the right hand menu option, tap on embed, then select embed code, paste the code right here, tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you are going to see a preview of it. Then all you will need to do now, you are going to tap on insert. Now that you have tapped on insert, you can change the size. So you can simply pull it out right there by tapping on the squares. So you can see it right here. So you can see how it looks at the moment. So this is how it looks at the moment, as you can see here. So you can pull it down. And for persons to donate, all they'll need to do is tap on the donate button to donate. And all you'll need to do now for your website to be live, you could tap on publish in the top right hand corner. And if you don't want to go through using Google Sites, you could simply just use the link that you'll be getting from PayPal. So you could simply tap on get link where you see share the link. And from there, you could copy it. And once you share this with someone, whether via email or any social media platform, they will be redirected to your donation link. So for example, if I were to paste it in right here, they would be redirected to the donation page. So you can see right here, you can do this for completely free as you can see here. And then the other platform that you can use is Stripe. So all you would need to do is create a Stripe account, which again, you can do for completely free. After you have created your Stripe account, you could tap on share a payment link. So you're going to tap on start. Then we're going to go over to the top left hand corner. And right where you see products and subscriptions, you're going to tap right there. And you're going to select customers, choose what to pay. After you have tapped on that, all you'll need to do now, you could add your title right here. So you can add your title, so I'll name it Tess. Then from there, you could upload an image once more. After you have uploaded the image, you could add a description of why persons should donate. Excuse me. Then you can set the currency and you can also suggest a present amount if you want. So you could tap right here and you could suggest the amount that you'd like persons to donate. Then you can tap on advanced options. And instead of it being pay, since this is donate, we're going to tap on donate right there. If you'd like to add other options, you can tap on add custom fields. So you could tap on add custom fields right there and you can type in whatever you want. So for example, if you would like the persons to leave their name or so on, you can do that. Once everything is to your liking, you'll scroll back up, tap on after pay. And with after pay right here, you can see it show confirmation page. So this is how it looks after they have donated. This is what they'll see. Thanks for your donation, as you can see right there. And if you would like to change the default custom message, you could tap on replace and you could type in whatever you want. Once you are finished, you are going to tap on create link in the top right hand corner. Then you'll be redirected to this. So that's how you'll be able to create a download link using Stripe. So you could tap on copy and you can see the other payment options that persons will be able to use. So for example, they can pay with their card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Link, numerous options when it comes on to Stripe. And you can also share the link via QR code by tapping on QR code right there. You could download the image and persons will be able to access the donation website using QR code. 
If it is a case that you'd like to add the buy button or better yet a button to your website, you could tap on buy button right here. After you have tapped on buy button, you will see a pop-up option. So you can see how it looks. All you'll need to do is tap on copy code. Once you have copied this code, let's say we wanted to paste it on our Google Sites. You could go back into Google Sites, tap on embed, tap on embed code, and you could paste the code right here, tap on next. Then you could tap on insert. And after you have tapped on insert, you will now have a donation link from Stripe as you can see right there. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.